is Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am testing store-bought slimes from the store. Um, I got these for Christmas, as you guys probably saw on what I got for Christmas haul 2019. Um, and I got one, two other slime things, but um, one of them I've already like. One of them I am having its own video for because it's like a four pack of slime in one so that's gonna be its own video and one of them was like one I just don't want to film so yeah let's get started with the video don't forget to like subscribe and turn the post notification bell so yeah let's so the first slime we have here is this Nickelodeon slime this is Nickelodeon Slime Fun Scent Super Gooey Fun Whoa Watermelon is what it's called. Um, first impressions, it looks like neat, like um, in its container, but um, it isn't filled to the top, which is a bummer. But I mean, like it's a store bought slime, you don't expect much from store bought slime, so sometimes they can really surprise you. So I'm just going to open this up. It says it has a fun scent, so I'll be the judge of that. It looks like it has little boba looking things at the top and the bottom, and it's red. Oh, it does have a fun scent. Oh my gosh, wait, I have a slime scented like this from Emerald City Slimes, I believe. I think that's what they're called. Um, yeah, it's a really good scent. I really like it. So I'm just going to dive into this. Okay, it's, it's a little sticky so far. Oh wait, does this have jelly cubes in it? I think this has jelly cubes. There are little beads, I think. I think they're, like the black things are beads. Um, they're little beads sticking to me. There are definitely jelly cubes in here. The slime itself is sticking to me. It's also sticking to the container. I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet. I probably did, but... Okay, I couldn't get it all out, but what I got is a pretty good amount. It's actually, like, a good amount of slime. Like, this is, like, I don't even get this much slime from a store-bought seller, or, uh, online sellers. First impressions of the texture, it's jelly cube slime, but it sticks to me a lot. And I'm not sure why. Slime usually doesn't stick to me, but store-bought slimes do. But this one so far, it seems like a really decent slime. Um, it's really pokey. And it's kind of stretchier like than I thought it would be. Okay, well. It doesn't even say what type, like, what type of slime it is on the package, but... It's really good, and the scent actually is really fun. So it's called Whoa Watermelon, I think. Um, that's not really how you spell Whoa, but I don't think it's called Whoa Whoa Watermelon. So we're just gonna go with Whoa Watermelon for now. So this is what the front packaging looks like. Yeah, the slime pretty much looks like the picture, but the picture looks a little deeper red. This is more of a pink color, but I really like pink, so I, I'm not sad about that. So yeah, overall, out of 10, I would rate this slime a 7, to be honest. It's really good, except for the fact that it sticks to me, and it sticks to the container. Okay. So, the next slime we have is actually not a slime, it's a putty. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my gosh, it's sticking to my desk. Okay, well, the next one we have is a putty. And this is actually called, like, a snow putty surprise. So, inside, it has a colored putty. And then, um, it comes with a little colored animal. Um, yeah. And you can get, um, the colors, there's, like, metallic blue, I think there's, like, glittery red or metallic red or something, and, like, gold or something. And then the animals, you can get, like, light blue, dark blue, yellow, red. 
the, or the usual colors. So let's see what I got. Oh. Oh, okay. So it seems that I have gotten metallic blue. And then the animals, you can get like any animal. I forget all of them because I threw away the packaging already. Um, this seems to be a polar bear. And it seems to be the light blue color. I think these are like the things that stick to walls and stuff. Like, it's really stretchy. This is basically a sign itself. But it's a little polar bear. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And then here is the little putty. It's metallic blue. I mean, it's not the worst putty ever. It's just... Actually, it's a really good putty. Because putties aren't meant to be, like, slime. Putties are meant to be, like, a little more, like, activated. Or, like, a little more... It's not, it's meant, they're meant to not be as stretchy and not be as, like, pokey. They're just meant to, like, mess around in your hand like this. So, yeah, I really like it. So, yeah, the color's really pretty. I would give that out of 10 a 6. Um, actually, a 7 as well because it came with an animal and that's fun. Um, so, yeah. The next... Well, the next one I have, it's this oddly satisfying, oddly satisfying compound kings neon squishy slime. So the front says oddly satisfying super stretchy. I'll see if that's true. Um, it says it's squishy fun. Does that mean it's squishy? Okay. So it says it's super stretchy and squishy. So I'm going to take this out. So far, it feels kind of like a jiggly, not a jiggly slime, but like a water slime. So I'm poking it. It's not the pokiest. Oh, that does not smell very good. It kind of smells like pool water. I don't know. I, I don't like it. But well, I'll be the judge to see if it's super stretchy or not. Oh my gosh, it is super stretchy. For a store-bought slime, this is pretty stretchy. Actually, it's very stretchy. Oh, it's starting to rip. It's like about to go off frame. Oh gosh, nope. Almost end on the ground. That is super stretchy. And it is squishy. Doesn't really make any noise. It makes a tiny noise when you poke it, if everyone, if anyone can hear that. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'd give this a 6.5 out of 10. It it, it pretty much do says what it like does what it advertises, but I mean it's not the best. It's not the stretchiest. It's not as stretchy as the picture. But yeah, the last slime I have is this amazing slime extra large glitter palooza and this one i actually got for my birthday from my friends um so yeah here's what the packaging looks like it doesn't really say much on the front other than it's glittery and so far i can see that's glittery so let's open it up oh so far the glitter is stuck to me already and i poked it twice so I like the extra large size. That's literally what it says in the front. Um, but I like that it's extra large because that gives me more to play with. It actually has some bubble pops. Did you hear that, guys? Wait, hold up. Let me try again. It also kind of oddly smells like cherries, but... Ready? Did you guys hear the crackles and bubble pops? So glitter does stick to my hands. But it is a pretty pokey slime. And it is semi-stretchy. Kind of blends in with my shirt. Hold up.
I would give this slime a 7.5 out of 10. So far, I mean, well, we're done. This was the last slime. But all of these slimes got pretty good reviews. They're really pretty good. So yeah, all of these slimes in the end were really good. And putty, sorry. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Also, turn on the post notification bell after you subscribe because it notifies you every single time I post a new video. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, guys. Comment down below some more video suggestions for me to do. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!